Hello, my soccer universe. Well, my second New Jersey, <laughs> it's the second uh, player issue version, a version that I'm wearing in a video, and it's so funny. I honestly, before I bought this one, I didn't care that much about Crystal Palace. Now, I like it a lot, honestly, and I have been even looking into their history and so on. And I'm wearing this video because on Tuesday they won it. Yes, this video I'm shooting Friday morning, but it will not post until Saturday morning to do work and all that kind of stuff. So Crystal Palace actually beats Bournemouth 1-0. Here you go. Uh, I saw that, I didn't see highlights of that one, but I saw highlights of Burnley against Manchester City, where Manchester City just rolled over Burnley uh, rather easily. Gabriel Jesus scores two goals, so he finds his goal scoring form again. It was 4-0 before Burnley put one back, but a uh, rather deserved win for Man City. Then um, I watched on Wednesday, they had nice little conference, you know, all the games uh, all at once, uh, with a little bit of uh, Liverpool-Everton that was tagged on at the end, uh, which I didn't watch to the end because I saw where this is going and then uh, I needed to sleep. And honestly, it was a bit late for me. But yeah, uh, let's run through the games that happened there. Um, the big one, of course, was United against uh, Spurs, where I actually expected maybe even Spurs to dominate, uh, but at least I expected an even game, but in the first 30 minutes it was all United. Um, who got an early goal through um, um, Rashford, and then I mean they uh, the goalkeeper needed to pull all his stops. Uh, they hit the post. It was uh, dominance. It was rather disappointing from Spurs. However, they do get an equalizer in the third now through a very nice individual effort by Dele Ali who basically is with the back to goal, lobs the ball over himself and finishes it off. This was a really, really well taken, very nice goal, gotta say. Uh, but it was also against the run of play. However, early in the second half, penalties given, uh, look, looking at VAR, I thought it was all right. I mean, he really steps on him. Uh, and the Rashford converts the penalty, and that's that. Uh, Spurs does not find a way back, rather disappointingly. Uh, in other games, uh, Leicester gets a kind of a messy win over Watford. They couldn't really break down Watford uh, until uh, it's again a penalty uh, that Vardy puts home and then Madison stoppage time makes it 2-0, but Leicester stays top there, gets the important win. Uh, Wolves get a win over West Ham, so I actually, if West Ham would have won, I probably would have won the West Ham jersey. Uh, Dan Docker in the 23rd was a kind of a weird goal. Who, the way he hits it, I don't think it was necessarily uh, planned that way, but it went in. And Cutrone, my Cutrone, I still am a little bit mad that he's not at Milan any, any, anymore, but yeah, I'm happy. I want him to succeed at the Wolves, honestly. Uh, he gets his goal. Uh, I think he initiated the attack, then he, it seems like he's out, out, out back. And nicely gets the ball, uh, takes it on his foot, takes aim, and it goes in 2 0 for Wolves over West Ham. West Ham playing actually in their home jerseys, which I really love, except for the logo, uh, which I cannot, uh, you know, I'm not so excited about. But then with the light blue uh, shorts that actually look nice, I mean, white would be even would be best. Um, what else? Chelsea gets a win over Aston Villa. Um, Tammy Abraham is back and gets the goal in 24th, but Therese Gay actually equalizes for Aston Villa. Um, despite Chelsea having the bet of the game and then a pretty nicely taken strike by Mason Mount makes it 2-1. A little bit disappointing that it wasn't more for Chelsea, but you know, a win is a win and you stay up there. Um, I also hope that Villa will stay up there, but we'll see that in the table. Uh, Southampton gets a very important win over Southampton. Uh, the goals for Southampton already uh, early through Ings and Petrin. Puki puts one back, but um, Southampton can stay on. I was wondering why is Southampton play, uh, um, not Southampton, Norwich, not playing in their yellow. This would have worked perfectly. The black one I didn't find reasonable. And then, of course, the late game, Liverpool-Everton. And Liverpool was resting starters. I mean, there was no Firmino, there was no Salah, and so on. Uh, but it's Sadio Mane who took over and said, you know, I'm the big show here. And he put on a clinic um, the way he set up the goals by Origi and Shakiri. Then uh, Origi makes another one in the uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, Keane 
had put one back. So, I mean, uh, it was very quickly 2-0 for Liverpool in within 17 minutes. And I, the Shakiri goal, I really liked. Uh, it was a little bit weird, weird with the fame because it seemed a little bit to go in slow motion, but it was a really nicely taken goal. Uh, Keane puts one back, but shortly after, Origi makes it 3-1. Um, it gets even then uh, through Mane, the 4-1, right before I have Richard Leeson, 4-2, but... The game was decided. I mean, it was clear who is the dominant team, even with a reserve squad. Uh, Vinaldo makes it 5-2 in the end. But Liverpool cruising. I think it was the 100th win for Klopp for Liverpool. Pretty impressive. Then yesterday, I didn't see much of it. Newcastle gets a 2-0 win at Sheffield United, which we will see. They are, are rising in the table. And Arsenal is a train wreck. Absolute train wreck, even under Freddy Lundberg. The reason I didn't make a video there is because, uh, yes, it was that Emery is sacked, that's okay, but um, it was not the Mourinho that came in. It was not such a big story to me to really uh, deserve of a video. Arsenal isn't a real train wreck. wreck. Webster gets uh, 1-0 for Brighton, then Lacazette equalizes early in the second half, and Mope in the 80th wins it. So we have the following table now. Liverpool still on top. Leicester, uh, City are behind, uh, 8 and 11 points. Chelsea is 29. And then uh, we have a few teams moving up. Uh, Wolves um, with 23 and United 21 and Crystal Palace 21. So I'm. it's a good time to wear Crystal Palace. Uh, Spurs goes down a few spots as does Sheffield and as does Ar Arsenal. Arsenal only with 19 points as Sheffield and Newcastle also moves up there in 11th spot. Then we have Burnley and Brighton at 18, uh, Bournemouth, West Ham 16 each, and Villa is just teetering above. Uh, they are 15 with Southampton. Everton is now in the relegation zone, and Norwich and Watford seem like, f at this point, foregone conclusions. But uh, that battle for relegation, that's going to be a hard, hard one. And between Aston Villa, Southampton, and Everton, there are two big name teams in there. Uh, but might some other one might go in there as well. Um, unfortunately, and yeah, I'm almost at, uh, at the point that I will not consider France anymore because I don't get to it. Literally, I don't have the time. But let's run through the results. On Tuesday, Marseille beat Angers. That was the big clash um, on a Tour Tour Cruise's top 2-0. Uh, Bordeaux 6-0 over Nîmes. So Bordeaux is also pretty good. Brest Strasbourg 5-0 and Lille wins the big one at Lyon. Uh, Lyon still just on the average. Amir Reims got interrupted. So no result there. Dijon Maupier 2-2. Metz Rennes 0-1. Saint-Etienne Nice 4-1. Toulouse Monaco 1-2. And PSG beats not 2-0. With I know Neymar had a goal taken off. So in the table, uh, yes, PSG has a game in hand against Monaco, five points out of Marseille, and now Bordeaux is also up. Uh, Lille also moved up, Saint Etienne moved up. As you see, lots of stuff uh, going on there. Uh, Montpellier, Rennes, Angers, now not dropping. Twenty-three, Lyon only in tenth spot. Uh, Reims, Brest, Monaco, twenty-one. Monaco could go up uh, twenty uh, with twenty-four, so they could uh, be right uh, where Angers is in eighth. If they win against PSG, rather unlikely. Nice uh, 20, Strasbourg 18, Dijon 16, Amir 16, Metz 15, Nîmes 12, Toulouse 12. As always, the relegation zone. I mean, now it's a little bit more defined. It's basically Dijon 2, Toulouse, but it's always, cr it's still crazy in France how dense everything is. So that was the midweek action. Yeah, that was Coppa Italia, but early stages. No, we're going to go in the cup competition when there's really something to play for. Let me know what you watched this uh, week. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that will be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.